on New Tonight, how Georgians vote could be changing in the near future. Our Emma Hamilton is live tonight with the voting bills currently front and center. Emma. Well, Shannon, several bills are moving forward, but the biggest one is Senate Bill 71, which would prevent everyone from having the opportunity to vote absentee. What I'm thinking about are the Georgia workers out there who had planned to vote on one day in person but couldn't but need to. I'm thinking about the individuals who are still going through this pandemic, such as our governor, Governor Brian Kemp, voted by mail, and he voted by mail uh, within 10 days of his uh, absentee ballot. And the reason why is because he was exposed to COVID-19. Christopher Bruce with the ACLU of Georgia says this bill would keep some Georgians from casting their ballots in an election. It comes after record-breaking turnout for in-person and absentee voting this past November. What are your major concerns for Georgia voters? Anything that creates a barrier for any voter in the state of Georgia is a serious concern of mine. This bill would eliminate absentee voting unless you are over the age of 75, have a physical disability, or are out of town on election day. The harder it is to vote, the, the more discriminatory it gets with minorities, Democrats in general, uh, older people. We need to make sure that we're not throwing up roadblocks, making it inconvenient for people to vote because we want everybody that's eligible to vote to vote. Republican Representative Ron Stevens says he supports absentee voting but wants to make sure only legal votes are cast. That the same rules apply whenever you in-person vote as you do whenever you're uh, absentee and you're mailing it in, that, the, um, that your ID is required. Now, Shannon, there is a bill that is being looked at that would kind of address what Representative Stevens is talking about. You would have to submit a photocopy of your driver's license when you request an absentee ballot. However, Representative Stevens says that this could just create another barrier because a lot of people don't have a copy machine at home. Back to you. All right, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Thanks so much, Emma.